Howdy friends, welcome back to the channel. We've got another box battle for you. Today is 2022 Prism Racing. I've been excited to bust this. We've got a couple blasters today, Jeremy. I've had these probably longer than I've had any other cards laying around the place. They've yeah, been they've been sitting down there for a little yeah, bit. Yeah, they've been in front of the radio on all the other podcast episodes. If you want to check those out, they're available for you on YouTube. But also, we have other videos you can check out. The link's above, lots of other breaks. This is fun because it's a battle. You get to help pick the winner. So let us know in the comments below who you think wins. Jeremy, you want to fill them in on kind of how we go about this a little bit? Yeah, it's just a little bit different than um, what you might see on other channels. It's basically who pulls the coolest card. Uh, it doesn't have to be what's the most valuable. If it's just an awesome card, it wins the battle because, you know, NASCAR, they just there's some unique cards in there and, and some rarities. So whoever pulls the coolest card wins, but if like we uh, are a little undecided or, or whatnot, you guys, you can trump us and you can let us know in the comments down below who you think actually wins the battle. Um, but man, I'm, I'm excited for it. This will be my first 2022 prism uh, to open. So hopefully we get something good. Hopefully I get something good because uh, I got to get back to my winning streak. You got me in the last one, which was National Treasures, but that was just fun to rip so i'm not even mad it was fun if you want to watch that video check it out above without further ado let's get on to busting these bad boys i'm gonna go ahead and start it off since i was last winner yeah go ahead you get first pack this is the panini prism 2022 racing there are there are six cards uh or six packs per box five cards per pack that was a little bit misleading in some of the other panini products in years past was it this year's Donruss that they messed up on the... Uh... Uh, I think it might have been. Yeah, they had something reversed or something. I, I don't remember exactly what it was. You know, good old Panini. Panini's got the great <clears throat> Color Blast uh, edition in these. Yeah, who are you uh, hoping to... <clears throat> excuse me. Who are you hoping to potentially get out of this? Well, obviously, some of the top stars looking for Chase Elliott and... Me personally, like Denny Hamill and Ryan Blaney, some of those guys, right. Austin, Austin Dillon. But uh, outside of that, you're looking for some of the rookies. You got uh, Sammy Smith, Briss, or uh, Hosabar. There's yep. several guys that you can get. So we'll alternate packs. Is that right, Jeremy? Yeah, let's alternate packs. So I've got uh, got my first one. I'll just take it off the top here. I feel like my first pack's kind of fat, so... And didn't last year want the blasters four cards per pack, and we get an extra card this year? Yep, and right off the top, I get the guy we were just talking about, Sammy Smith, rookie. Okay. Cody Ware. Ooh, not the best right now. Denny Hamlin. There you go. Jeff Gordon, blue. That's a really cool <clears throat> color match with his... Is it Pepsi? No, it's not. Oh, there you go. Ah, yeah, that looks sweet. I like that. A little bit off-centered, but it's not that bad. All right. This this was the top pack. Feels like it uh, just a little bit fat. Let's see what we got. All right. Got BJ McLeod. Good old BJ right off the top. Chase Elliott. This is a widescreen base. I believe that's what they're calling this one. Richard Petty icons. Nice. Looks good. Austin Hill. And then my blue is the Daytona 500 winner from this year, Ricky Stenhouse. Wow, that's pretty cool. Color or, Yeah, or is, or is this the blue hyper? Looks a little bit different than your blue. Yeah, I think that's the blue th hyper. That's huh? that's the retail special. Ah, oh yeah, that shines real nice. Sweet. All right, you're up. Going on to my second pack. Got Ryan Blaney on the top. Quinn Half. Another Jeff Gordon. So it looks like. Hold on, we're going to have to do some research here in a second. Martin Truex, 
rides. Blue Hyper. Harrison Burton. But this Jeff Gordon and this Jeff Gordon are the different numbers. Yep, 24 and 74. So they are two cards in the set because sometimes... The what, image variation? What Prism will do is very image variations, and that's typically distinguished with a checker uh, checkered flag on the back. So neither of these have that. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Got something on the back. Let's see what we got here. We got <clears throat> Brenninger, rookie card up at the front. This is another pretty good one to have. Obviously, just base. Still nice. Okay. William Byron. Eric Almarola. Alex Bowman. Uh, this looks like a orange. Yeah, it's not numbered. But that's pretty cool. Very sweet. And then, I think this is fitting. Instant Impact. Ross Chastain. And last year, boy, that was accurate. Wow. Especially at Martinsville. That was yeah. an instant playoff push. Yeah, sweet card. All right, on to the next one. The Prism so, product's always fun to break because you never know really what you can do. It's that mid middle of the road product that you can get some really nice high end stuff out of it, but at the same time, it's still one of those cool, collectible, lots of different variations, lots of color. That's the wild thing is to see how much colors progressed here but let's go ahead and get into it Cole Moore rookie and we got Bubba Wallace Rusty Wallace there's the orange Kevin Harvick and then <coughs> Illumination Austin Dillon that's a cool one nice so we're still hunting Hopefully our hit of the box. Definitely need something a little bit more right now. All right. Up front, got Michael McDowell. Oh, that's pretty cool. Rides. Alex Bowman. Look at that. It's just, I mean, just a simple card, but yep. it's pretty sweet. And that's the cool thing with Prism. They do good. Do right it. behind it is just a base Alex Bowman, so it's Alex D Bowman back. back. Yeah, you get the uh, image variation, or not variation, but image with him and then, then the car as well. Illuminations, Bubba Wallace. <laughs> and then our hyper is BJ McLeod. Let's get into some good stuff, man. Yeah, let's get, it's uh, time. Let's find a, let's find a banger. We got Mr. Suarez on the front. There we go. Kevin Harvick. Martin Truex. Silver Instant Impact. Kyle Larson. That's pretty cool. And then a rides. It looks like a blue variation with uh, Haley Deegan in the trucks. Okay. All right. All right, so we're halfway through. Time for something good. All right, rookie Nick Sanchez. Martin Truex Jr. widescreen, if that's what they're calling it. It's a cool card. Icons, Mark Martin, that's true. Oh, we got our silver coming up. Oof. Who is it? Well, uh, it's Quinn Half. Okay. So, cool card. Uh, I don't think... Is that spots on the card, or is that just part of the image? Interesting. So, not quite who I was looking for. And then, Brilliance, Bubba Wallace. So, right now, I got that Jeff Gordon sitting nice there with the blue color match. Those blues used to be really, really sought after as a very limited par parallel um, retail version only. A lot of the uh, 2016 stuff like that in the football versions, 
really demand a lot of money. I don't know if they've really translating the football or the NASCAR market so much. All right. So you're down to two packs, correct? Yep. One after this one. We got Kyle Bush right there on the front. Looks like I have a silver back here hanging out. There's Christopher Bell. Rides Kyle Bush. And then Jeff Gordon, silver prism in his Pepsi uniform. This has been a Jeff Gordon box. I like that. That's pretty wow. nice. Really nice. And then Denny Hamlin, brilliance. Well, I think you took the lead with that one. Um, I don't know. Let's see what else we got. There's still some opportunities. You know, sometimes some of these blasters, you're, you're just going to have kind of an average box, but it... Some of these things will have some major they, they stuff. They can pack a punch. Yeah, they can. So it ain't over yet. Uh, Chase Elliott, William Byron, Eric Amarola, Ryan Newman. <clears throat> okay. Got the widescreen variation, the blue hyper, Chase Elliott. So it's kind of a color match. Oh, yeah. That's a beautiful card. Yeah. Really nice. So, uh, you know, it might be up there with the uh, the Jeff Gordon. Jeff Gordon, yeah. Well, we have one pack left each. Here we go to the final pack. Let's see if we can pull some magic out of it. It's always fun getting a, a little sample of... Last pack mojo. A little sample of what there is to offer here in the racing prism 2022 this year. Jade Buford. Sheldon Creed. Danny Hamlin there, Victory Lane. Dell Jr. Icons, and then we got Ryan Priest. It looks like the Blue Hyper. Okay. All right, Jeremy, it's up Man. to you to top what I've got over here. Hanging I'd say out. it's a tight battle. This is probably the closest we've had so far, out of all the ones that we're we've done. It might finish that way, but let's see. Okay, Kurt Busch. Kyle Larson rides. Chris Busher. I know someone who'd like this one. Terry Labonte, Icons. There you Looks go. like it's red. Yep. Okay, and then... In the back, we have National Pride, just base, Ryan Blaney. So, man, uh, I, th I think maybe you have the slight edge. Well, that's up to the viewers to decide. So, we do this every so often, and we appreciate those of you who have stopped by. Certainly let us know in the comments if Joe won or if Jeremy won. I know I've got a couple cards here to uh, check out. Jeff Gordon. So if you're a Jeff Gordon fan like me personally, you should vote for me. I will let Jeremy now have the floor. Well, uh, yeah, I don't have a ton to uh, put up. So the, I think this is the winner. Um, it's the Chase Elliott blue widescreen matches his uh, Napa Napa blue uniform. So that's I think that's the best one I've got out of the the stack. I don't know. You guys can. Uh, you guys can decide uh let us know down below yeah certainly do that hit that subscribe button it helps us out if you like racing and nascar in general we have a podcast so you can subscribe catch all the latest content make sure you check us out on all the major audio podcast platforms we're also on rumble so if you like what you saw here today make sure you tune in for more in the future love doing the car breaks jeremy get to do it ever so often so we've got more on the horizon i know 2020 uh yeah, 2020 prism right on the horizon over, right over your shoulder we've got some boxes over there we'll get to here shortly i'm excited this was fun didn't get the big hit we were looking for it happens it, it certainly does hope the <clears> price tag comes down if you buy these things off of uh uh any of your local retailers they're not that cheap compared to what they used to be, but they're still fun. Yeah, I had a blast uh, ripping it, and yeah, that's just the name of the game. Not every box is, you know, a Millie Maker or anything like that. Um, 
NASCAR, I'm not sure. Any box is a million maker. But you get my point. Uh, I, I had fun. And uh, there's some cool cards to add to the collection. And uh, I'm excited for the next one. Um, I know I will for sure win the next one. This one, I think, is really up in the air. All right. Let us know. We'll be back for more. Hopefully, you will as well. Thanks for watching. I'm Joe. That's Jeremy. And we'll see you next time.